And I want to jump into how you guys started training together and what was this like energy. A lot of people talk about the nostalgia of UFC and MMA and they don't ever talk about it without bringing up your guys' name. It's like you guys are the original bad boy gangster crew of, of the UFC, you know? Yeah, man. It's kind of funny how we started. Do you want to start it off? Nah, tell go you. ahead. Go ahead. We were just like party buddies because we were wrestling together in San Francisco. <laughs> and like, oh, this dude gets a lot of chicks. I get a lot of chicks. So we were just out partying together all the time and wrestling. And I'm like, hey, Gil, you got to come uh, check this MMA st stuff I do. And he's just like, yeah, sure, buddy. Sure, you're not in the UFC. So I finally convinced him one day. And then he just got, you know, the first time you go in, you just get smashed yeah. by Nick Diaz and shit. So he's like, oh, that's just legit. But I could only get him to come over there maybe two, three times a week with me. But then I got in a big fight with a girl I was living with at the time. So I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So I go, Gil, can I stay at your house for uh, for a couple of days? I went to his house and I just never left. And so after that, Gil had to go to the gym with me every single day. He had no, he could no excuses. I just wake up and be like, we're going to the gym, and it would just turn into a war. And then uh, I would go and battle with Nick Diaz. And then once I brought him in, Nick's like, well, I want to make my brother train. I don't think he really gave his brother our a choice. Oh, Nate, Nate wasn't training it. No, nah, yeah, he started like right after, like the thing, literally the day after he came in. Nick, wow. Nick goes, you're coming with me, and he would. We were hardcore back then, so he would just put the gloves on him, put the gloves on him, and they'd be like, you guys are fighting. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, this guy was crazy. Yeah, just, <laughs> I just followed his lead, right? Like, I wrestled with him at SF State. He was, like, transferred there, and and he said he did the MMA thing. And I was a fan, right? I was actually watching the, the on Sheer Dog, they had the highlight reels, the pride ones. You were on there, too. The <laughs> yeah. Sakuraba, Igor yeah. Chanchin. I was like, oh, this is tight, you know? And I was a wrestler, and I always wanted to, you know, everyone wanted to do it, you know? Yeah. I wanted to do it. And then uh, I met this guy, and I challenged him. I was like, you don't do that stuff. He put me in a knot, tapped me out. And I was a disciple ever since, man. I just, like, he moved in, and we did go through that. But as soon as he moved in, he just, like, he pulled me out. He said, we got to do this. And and we trained hard. We partied hard. And, you know, mm -hmm. we, we reached our goals. Man, it's real, right? Yeah, Were well, you a black belt now? I'm a black belt now. I'm oh, a black belt now. I'm a three-strike black belt All right, all right. Under him? Uh, under him and, uh, and Caesar Gracie. So mm -hmm. Caesar Gracie. Oh, Caesar Gracie. Yeah, he's, he's the real deal. Yeah. 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 Like I said, we were pretty we were pretty hardcore. All we did is train and chase girls occasionally. <laughs> and and <laughs> train, what about train, the, train, the and... gym dynamic with the Diaz brothers and you guys? Like, did was there one central head coach? Because I know you guys were in separate gyms at some mm -hmm. point, right? Because you have Modesto, Stockton, and then you had, you know, San Fran. Yeah, great question. So I ran, I ran the San Francisco part, right? So I, so I got, I was teaching there. So I was the head guy there. Nick ran the, ran the Stockton Lodi part, and then Caesar ran in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we'd meet in the middle all the time. So we would train each of our gyms. But we were training for a while. We were training like four days a week out in the middle, and we'd go out there and battle. And we had... We're super good friends, but we're also super competitiveness. I think that competitiveness drives you together. Even me and Gil, we're the best friends, but we'll get in fights sometimes in the gym. I think I no fight way. Gil more than anyone else. I don't know why. He he always hits me too hard and blames me. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> like one of the problems at gyms, right? Guys can't take that, you know, but afterwards we're like hugging. And, oh, we're, yeah. instant, we're instantly yeah, friends yeah, after, like, but yeah. like. Have some yeah. food, smoke, whatever. It's yeah, you leave it, you leave it in the yeah, cage. Like, leave yeah. it in the ring. It would never be oh, personal, man. but yeah. like it's not that in common for me to gym. Me and Gil start fighting. What's, what's going on? Everyone like freaks out. It's like, no, it's no, we're already over it. <laughs> and at what point did the Diaz brothers and you guys all officially become like this team with one central head coach? Because at one point you guys all had the same striking coach, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess we kind of joined Caesar's team and it was a combination yeah. of Caesar, but a lot of it was me and Nick did a lot of the coaching too. Oh, got it. So we, you know, we were, uh, it was kind of a combination. We, we really helped coach each other a lot. If you notice, if you look at our fights, we all cornered each other. Like Gil, Gil was always in my corner. I was in his corner. Nick, Nate, we always took turns cornering each other. And so instead of having to hire trainers, we just helped train each other for free. Yeah, so it, it was out, pretty uh, immediately. We're with Caesar, right? He was already at Caesar's training over there and he'd bring me over there. We we're just doing our thing in San Francisco and he was under Caesar's banner out there and we'd all meet up and it'd get down. We'd get down. Did Nick and Nate already have like a crew as well or were they solo dogs? Yeah, kind of. It was it was because me and Nick came in like early because it was like, uh, I think Nick had been training about a year. I've been training about a year and a half. Because I started with Chuck Liddell originally. So uh, I was with Chuck for a year, but then Caesar's gym wow. was, was tearing everyone up in the of the Bay Area. And I went to San Francisco because I had a wrestling scholarship up there. So I went there to wrestle. But at that point, it's hard to go back to wrestling once you're fighting. So I already, had, I already had a couple fights under Chuck. So I had no desire to wrestle. So we wrestled a couple months. And we both dropped off and just uh, pursued fighting. How was Chuck back in those days? Was he a party animal and stuff already? Oh, man, Chuck is. <laughs> no, he actually wasn't actually, now you mentioned it. He turned into it after. He didn't really, no drinking, no, what? or very little drinking. It wasn't that he was very Chuck like. Chuck Liddell? Yeah, he was like, he drank a little bit, but but not much. I remember he didn't party that much. I remember I ran into him one day and he was partying. I'm like, oh, Chuck's partying now. No. Man, Chuck, Chuck reminds me like Spud McKenzie of MMA, bro. <laughs> he's, a, he's so fun when you he hang can, out with yeah, him, bro. He, yeah, sometimes I get scared when Chuck's in town, though, because he won't let me leave. And just Chuck's like, 
come meet me. I'm like, oh shit, do I want to meet Chuck? Can you let me leave once I meet him? <laughs> yeah, I remember those days that we'd go uh, down to what's it, slow? Slow, yes, yeah. We go there. He let us sleep on the couch, hang no, out no, when he was in San there. Luis Obispo. Yes, we go out there. Chuck is such a great dude. First guy I knew that ever got famous. So it's good seeing someone get famous and not change at all. So yeah. that was that was awesome to see. And like I said, I bring him down before you were known at all. Chuck exactly. just treated us great. It was great, right? Just being young, being around greatness, and allowing us just. Stay on the couch, wake up, go to the training session, be around it. Just it inspires you, right, man? Yeah. So yeah, when you have the top fighters letting you sleep on your couch, it's like, oh, this dude's cool as fuck. Yeah. 